Hi guys, uh, here's a question on stress and strain. Like I promised that we'll look at uh, a more detailed question or a different approach to stress and strain. So the question reads as follows. The figure below shows a mild steel bar, which is actually loaded by means of a tensile load so that the maximum induced stress is 120 megapascal. Uh, the modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal. Calculate the total change in length all right, so here's just my simple sketch of the of the question. So if we look at these three parts, uh, they have different dimensions. Then, like we said, each of these parts will have its own stress based on their dimensions. Remember what we said: stress is directly proportional to the force, but inversely proportional to the area. So this object with a thicker diameter which is 50 millimeters this part with 50 millimeters will have less stress because the area will be high the stress will go will go down it is inversely proportional so that uh, basically tells us that from these three parts where this maximum induced stress is is in the smallest part because if the area is below goes down the stress goes up so in order for us to continue this question, the first part, the first thing that we have to do is figure out how much force, how much force is acting on all of these parts. Remember what we said that the force remains the same. The force remains the, the same. So the force that is acting on this part is the same force that is acting on that part, the same force that is acting on that part. Then the other thing that we said is that depending on their sizes, their stress will not be the same because their areas are are different so the stress in each part will not be the same also the extension will not be the same because they have different dimensions this one the length uh, is 150 that one is 175 that one is 200 so the extension will also not be the same so what they want is we figure out how much extension we have here how much extension we have in this part and how much extension we have in that part then we add all those extensions up that is what the question is uh, requiring us to do to find the total change in length of all of that so first thing let's figure out what force is there and remember what we said is that the force is throughout is, is the same throughout then we can start calculating for the change for the change in length or the strain uh, in each part if you want you can calculate for the strain in each part but what we are going to do is we have the modulus of elasticity which is 200 is equals to remember that formula that we gave uh, which is that so if we can figure out the force which will remain the same this material or this uh, uh, bar is made of the same material which means the modulus of elasticity is the same which we have as 200 uh, gigapascal uh, the length for each part are given so we don't need to worry about that the area we can always solve for the area knowing that area all of these are diameters which means area is equals to pi d square over 4 we can figure out the area it's not a big deal so the only issue that we have is to figure out the extension the extension for that so first things first let's find the force that we need so so to find the force, what we are going to do is we are told that there is a maximum stress of uh, 120 megapascal. Uh, we have a diameter uh, of 30. I am using 30 millimeters because in this part, we can call it part A, B and C if you want. In this part, this is where the maximum stress is happening. The maximum will happen on the smallest, uh, uh, or the smallest, the, the the part with the smallest area, cross-sectional area. So the maximum stress is happening here. It's not happening in this one or that one, but it's happening on that. So this 120 megapascal is assigned to the smallest part. So then what we need is uh, the force. So now remember, stress is equals to force over area. We have our stress we have we can calculate our our area so force is equals to stress and area 120 times 10 to the power remember it is it is uh mega to the power six 
times the area pi d square pi times the diameter 30 times 10 to the power minus 3 then we square now remember it is 30 millimeters so i'm using 30 times 10 to the power minus 3 then we square then we divide by 4 and what we are getting is 84,823 times 10 to the power 3 newtons okay so that is our force that we have on that uh, object so 84,823 kilo newtons okay so that force will be the same throughout that force will be the same throughout uh, like we said the force is the same throughout uh, the object object a we exert a force on object b object b exerts a force on object a and so on so the force will be the same throughout all right so now that we have our force then we can move on to calculating the extension so we'll start we'll start with this same one extension in a E is equals to force over AX. What we are looking for is our X change in length. Uh, we have our force, we have our length, we have our Young modulus of elasticity. We can figure out our area. So we change the subject of formula, we can throw in everything. I will change the subject of formula E AX is equals to force. So we say E over A, let's cancel that, E over A. So we'll be working with that formula. Changing, changing length is equal to the force times the length, Young modulus of elasticity times the area. Okay, so for this, we already have everything. So continuing with that, what we are saying is that the force, 84,823, remember it is kilo, don't forget that, uh, times the length, 150, now 150 is milli, so we take a negative exponent. Everything over the Young modulus, Young modulus we are told it's uh, 200 giga times 10 to the power 9, then times the area. Now area of a circle is pi d square over 4. So that is what we'll be using. We say pi times the diameter 30 times 10 to the power minus 3 don't forget to square over 4 and then we can calculate that in our calculator gives me 89,9999 times 10 to the power minus 6 meters now the reason why my answer is in meters is because all of this my area has been changed to meters square my length has been changed to meters so my answer will be in meters so this can be rounded off to 90 times 10 to the power minus 6 meters okay that is a change in length for this one so we can say x on a is equals to 90 exponent minus 6 meters that's the change in length for the first part okay so then we continue doing the same we'll do the same calculation for b extension on b we'll still use the same formula now we are going to B. Now what you will notice is that as we do this calculation, we will take all the details for uh, part B, which means we take the length 175 millimeters, the diameter 100, uh, the diameter 40 millimeters. All right. So here we go again. Okay. So the force remains the same. The length. 175 times 10 to the power minus 3 my young modulus of elasticity 200 exponent to the power 9 exponent 9 the area pi d now the diameter will be 40 times 10 to the power minus 3 then we square everything then with our calculations it gave me 59 comma 0 six two exponent minus six meters okay so the change in area change in length not change in area change in length for b 
is 59,062 exponent minus 6 meters. Okay, I hope you get uh, where we are going then. We do the same again for, for changing length for C. Again, the only thing that will change that will change in our calculation is the the length. The length will now be 200 times 10 to the power minus 3. The diameter goes to 50. Therefore, our calculations uh, it gave me 43. 1999 times 10 to the power minus 6. Uh, we can round off this to 43,2 exponent minus 6 meters. Okay, so what we are saying is that the extension on part C, changing x on C is equals to 43,2 times 10 to the power minus 6 meters. Then what they want is the total length. So as you can see, from these parts, the smaller the diameter, the bigger the extension. The bigger the diameter, even the extension changes. So remember Hooke's law. Hooke's law says the strain, strain, the change in length is directly proportional to the to the load, to the stress. So this part A will experience a lot of stress, therefore even the strain, even the strain will also be greater. So the smaller the diameter, the more the strain, and also the more the stress. So the strain on an object is directly proportional to the stress under the elastic limits. So the force remains the same, but they, because of the dimension, the change in length, Will not be the same all right so now to finish up your total extension you are just adding up all of this uh, changing length of c plus changing length of b plus changing length of a you just add up those ones i'll just quickly do this 42 plus 59,062 plus 90 okay i've just taken these ones knowing that the value is an exponent of negative 6 one nine two comma six two six two six two times ten to the power minus six meters. All right. So the question did not specify. Give your answer in millimeters or in meters. So we just went along and used meters as our answer. But however, if the question specifies that give your answer in meters or millimeters, then you 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 have to do justice to that. So, but in our case, the question did not specify. That is why I'm leaving my answer in millimeters in meters all right hope you enjoyed